going to show you real quick how to make some blog templates. Um, it will speed up your prep for blogging and it will make everything look consistent and pretty. And it's free as long as you have Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a blank screen here. We're not going to have any files open or anything like that. Um, and we're going to make a new action. Um, and then after we have our action started, we're going to make a new file. Um, and you'll want your width to be whatever the width of your blog is. Um, for me it's 700. A lot of like pro photo I think is 900. Um, height doesn't really matter. Um, something, just whatever you want. And then the name is really important because your file name of images is important as far as SEO and Google looks at that to determine partially what you are all about. So I'm going to throw some of my keywords in here and we'll use that more in a minute. Okay, so I have my blank file and what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to layers and I'm going to start making new layers and putting my shapes on those layers for where I want my photos to be. So right now I'm just going to kind of just drop them wherever but if I was doing it for my blog I would be really careful and make sure they were all spaced evenly and all that kind of good stuff. So just new layer and then I'm going to do a little funky shape just to show you that you can. Um, you can use whatever you want. It's not exactly gorgeous here but hey. And then go back to your first layer and you're going to hold down control and click um, and then go. we're going to start placing our images just like we were prepping these for the blog. This is just test so kind of ignore the images I'm using here just throw in whatever just for time's sake. And then I'm going to, as long as it's selected on this placed image here, I'm going to hold down Control alt and g and that's going to make it a clipping mask. And so I'm just going to continue to do this. And I'm holding down Control and clicking on the uh, mask here, and that's going to select my layer. Um, place, continue to just placing whatever. Funky ring shot there. And then again, make it a clipping mask, and our final little funky layer, and not even going to size that guy, clipping mask. Okay, and so then our last thing we want to save in our action is our export for web. I'm not going to change any of this right now. You know, if it's a JPEG, it's going to have a white background or whatever color you set the mat to. Um, but you can use PNG and it will be transparent. Save it wherever you want to save it. You'll notice here's our keywords. This is where we had our uh, new file um, and they're in there. So what I would just do is add numbers for a blog post and I may change this for each blog. I may not. Um, I, use, I have my primary keywords and then different ones for each blog post but as long as one of them is in there I feel like it's at least getting some, some SEO juice out of it. So then we are done as far as the action but what we need to do is we don't want it to place these same images every time so we go in and you're going to click this little box next to each instance of place and also next to your export that way it doesn't save it in the same place every time it lets you decide where you want to save it and that is done so just to show you how it runs you're going to there it goes it's placed ready to place my first image See, it's made my file for me exactly where I want. I'm not wasting space storing a template somewhere. It's, it's all, it just makes a new one every time for me. Uh, that's horizontal. And my last little guy here. Let's, let's do that ring shot again. Oops, stick the ring in there. And it's opened up my save for web. It's ready to go. If I don't like the way something looks, I can cancel and go back out. Um, but for me this is fine and you will notice my keywords are back in there and there it is that's all it takes um, if you have any questions leave me a comment or shoot me an email or something and I hope this helps you